Remember me Though I have to say goodbye Remember me Don't let it make you cry For even if I'm far away I hold you in my heart I sing a secret song to you Each night we are apart Remember me to travel far, remember me Each time you hear a sad guitar Know that I'm with you The only way that I can be Until you're in my arms again Remember Hello, I'm Cliff Smith and this ukulele video is on how to play the song Remember Me from the saddest movie ever made, Coco by Pixar. Now, I challenge you to watch this movie and not cry. I watched it on the plane with my wife and uh, we both just like broke down. <laughs> it's so sad. This is my arrangement. I transcribed it from the scene in the movie where Hector plays the song on the guitar to his daughter Coco. I've arranged it for the ukulele. I'm in standard tuning, G, C, E, A. This song changes time signature several times. So it's, it's mainly in 4-4, which means there's four beats in the bar. But there's a 5-4 bar towards the start of the first verse, which means that bar has five beats in it. And there's a 2-4 bar towards the end of the first verse, which means that bar has two beats in it. And the last six bars of verse two are in three, four time, which means there's three beats in each of those bars. So all of the left and right hand fingerings I'm gonna show you are the ones that I actually use. You may find a better way. I'm just gonna show you the way I do it. Left hand fingers are one, two, three, four. Right hand fingers are P, I, M, A. Apologies if I'm looking off camera a little bit here, but I'm reading this just to make sure I don't make loads of mistakes. So verse one starts in 4-4 time with a C chord, which I'm playing with my fourth finger on the third fret of the A string. And then I'm plucking the G string with my thumb, followed by seven plucks on the C, E, A strings with my I, M, A fingers, these three fingers. So that's thumb, fingers, 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 fingers. The rhythm is one and two and three and four and, which is used for much of this song. Bar two of the verse uses an F minor chord. I'm keeping my fourth finger down from the C chord and adding my first finger on the first fret of the G string, my second finger on the first fret of the E string, then it's thumb, fingers, 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 fingers. This bar's got five beats in it, so the rhythm is one and two and three and four and five and. So when I'm counting the rhythms, I count the beat number, the one, two, three, four, five, and the half beat is the and. Then we're back in four, four time on a C chord, still with the fourth finger down. Thumb, fingers, 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 fingers. Next we have a split bar, which means we split the bar in half between two chords, B flat nine and E seven. For B flat nine, I'm keeping my fourth finger on the third fret of the A string. I'm barring all the strings at the first fret of my first finger. I'm putting my second finger on the second fret of the C string. That's thumb, fingers, fingers, fingers. For E7, it's first finger, first fret, G string, second finger, second fret, C string, third finger, second fret, A string, thumb, fingers, fingers, fingers. Next, I'm playing some descending double stops. A double stop, it just means you're playing two strings at the same time. It's the open A string, pluck with the M finger, then a double stop. First finger, third fret, A string, and third finger, fifth fret, E string. Pluck that twice with your I and M fingers. Then it's first finger, second fret, A string, and second finger, third fret, E string. Pluck twice. Then open A string and second finger, first fret, E string. Pluck twice. Then open E string, plucked once with the I finger. So that part goes. Then 
Next we have another split bar, B flat 6 and C7. B flat 6 is 3rd finger, 3rd fret, G string, 2nd finger, 2nd fret, C string, 4th finger, 3rd fret, E string, 1st finger, 1st fret, A string, thumb, fingers, fingers, fingers. Remove your 2nd, 3rd and 4th fingers and you're left with the 1st finger on the 1st fret of the A string which forms the C7 chord. Thumb, fingers, fingers, fingers. Next I'm playing some more descending double stops. Open A string with the M finger, then the double stops, 1st finger, 3rd fret, E string, and 2nd finger, 4th fret, C string. Pluck twice with your I and M fingers. Move that shape down 2 frets, so 1st finger, 1st fret, E string, and 2nd finger, 2nd fret, C string. Pluck that twice. Then the open E and C strings, pluck twice. Open C string, plucked once with the I finger. So that part goes... Next we have another split bar, A flat augmented and G7 sus4. For A flat augmented, it's 2nd finger, 4th fret, C string, 3rd finger, 4th fret, E string, 1st finger, 3rd fret, A string. Strum this chord with your thumb, but only play the C, E and A strings, don't play the G string, so just these three. Let it ring for two beats, then it's G7 sus4, which is 2nd finger, 2nd fret, C string, 1st finger, 1st fret, E string, 4th finger, 3rd fret, A string. Strum all the strings and let it ring. This chord rings for an extra two beats, which is where the 2-4 bar comes in. So for the A flat augmented and the G7 sus4, the counting is 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2. That was verse 1, so here's verse 1 played slowly. 1, 2, 3, 4. first three bars of verse 2 are the same as verse 1, but with only four beats on the F minor, so it's a little bit simpler. So it's C, F minor, C, Then a split bar of G minor 7 and C7. So for G minor 7 I have my 2nd finger on the 2nd fret of the C string and I'm barring the 1st fret of the E and A strings with my 1st finger. That's thumb, fingers, fingers, fingers. Then C7, 1st finger, 1st fret of the A string. Thumb, fingers, fingers, fingers. The next bar uses the first double stop pattern from verse 1. I'll go through it again. So it's open A string, pluck with the M finger, then a double stop, it's 1st finger, 3rd fret, A string, and 3rd finger, 5th fret, E string. Pluck that twice with your I and M fingers. Then it's 1st finger, 2nd fret, A string, and 2nd finger, 3rd fret, E string. Pluck twice. Then open A string, and 2nd finger, 1st fret, E string. Pluck twice. Then open E string, plucked once with the I finger. That part goes. The time signature changes to 3-4 here for the rest of the song. And we have one down strum with the thumb on each chord. So it's E minor, 3rd finger, 4th fret, C string. 2nd finger, 2nd fret, E string. 1st finger, 1st fret, A string. E7, 1st finger, 1st fret, G string, 2nd finger, 2nd fret, C string, 3rd finger, 2nd fret, A string, A minor, 1st finger, 2nd fret, G string,
that bar goes E minor, E7, A minor. And then we have an A flat chord, which is first finger, third fret, C string, third finger, fourth fret, E string, second finger, third fret, A string. For the A flat chord, don't strum the G string, just three strings, C, E, A strings. Then hold the A flat chord and play the E string once with your I finger, C string twice with the thumb, E string twice with the M, then the I finger, the A string twice with the M, then the I finger. Then add your fourth finger on the sixth fret of the A string and pick that once with your M finger. So that goes. Then you can take your second finger off and slide the chord down one fret for G5, which gives you first finger, second fret, C string, third finger, third fret, E string, fourth finger, fifth fret, A string. Strum that once with your thumb, hold the chord down, then pick the E string again with your I finger. And then one thumb strum each on A flat major seven, which is first finger, second fret, C string, third finger, fourth fret, E string, second finger, third fret, A string. And then A major seven, you can keep your second and third fingers down and just move your first finger up to the third fret. You end up with first finger, third fret, C string, third finger, fourth fret, E string, second finger, third fret, A string. And then C sus four, which is first finger, first fret, E string, fourth finger, third fret, A string. Pause on the C sus four, let it ring, and then finish on the C chord by taking off your first finger. So those last few chords are A flat major seven flat five, A flat major seven, C sus four, C. So that was verse two. Here's verse two played slowly. One, two, three, four. I did play the whole song at the beginning of this video, but I was singing. So let me play it again, slowly, with no singing. One, two, three, four. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you found some value in it and you'd like to help me out, please like the video, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and also please leave me a comment and let me know what you thought of my interpretation of this beautiful song.